So I guess I'm doing this again. And we need to check the mail and build gates. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. And yeah, the affordable size 24 backpack costs uh, 10,000. It's gonna take us a bit to get there, but eventually that'll not seem like way, way too much. Like it does right now. <laughs> and it took me a while to get there. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I don't know why every single time I record Stardew Valley is when I happen to be sick. I'm gonna just store this stuff. You never know when it's gonna not come in handy. So yeah, I don't need to water anything today because the rain's doing that for me. There's no forageables over here. Man, this is making me sad. Oh! Artifact spot. It's a book! So later we're gonna go check out that book. And we have a help wanted quest. It's gonna be today. Oh, that's birthdays. Demetrius wants to hire someone to fetch Joji Cola. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need to decide soon who I'm going to try to marry in this game. So I'm gonna leave that up to you guys in the comments. Whoever gets voted on the most. I have not fished in a while. I haven't played this game in a while. As you can see, I'm kind of doing not so hot with the fishing right now. Soggy newspaper. Oh, green algae, my favorite. It's 10 o'clock a.m. and I have already wasted nearly all of my energy. Oh, that scared me. And a broken CD. Oh, it's a vampire. Oh. Where is he going? And Pam, the other vampire. I'm going to stay over here and eat my algae. Stay away from me. Vampires don't like algae. I didn't read that anywhere, but I'm going to assume it's true. Two green algae in a row. Can we make it three? Please, no. Wow! Give me this treasure. Never mind. Not yet. Now give me this. Now give me the fish! This is another smallmouth bass, isn't it? Yep. And one, uh, six rocks. I'm gonna head down to Willy's and throw my current assortment of the exact same fish at him. Thanks. I'm never buying anything from you. Maybe we'll find some cola out in the ocean. I got an anchovy. And I really messed up that cast because I was looking at the anchovy. Wow, a slightly bigger anchovy. Look, Sebastian's leaving. Bye bye. Oh wow, it's Willy. That was swift. Very swift fish. Oh, it was an eel. How neat is that? So funny story. I'm actually in the beginning of year two on my file, and I don't have an eel yet. What are you? Another eel! This one's silver. We'll get rid of our sardine. I'm sorry, sardine. Not really. You're worthless to me. Halibut. Ah! Is this another eel? Another eel! I've never even gotten one on my file. Another? Oh my gosh. And I'm exhausted. What? Five eels. And zero Joja Colas. Okay, that's it. I'm, I'm out of here. I can't. What? Alright. I'm gonna sleep on that.
fishing level one, baby. And two. <laughs> Time to water these boys. You are a sad little failure of a parsnip. Anyways. Ah, oh, a leak. I can't pick it up because I have so many dang fishies. Do we have any help wanted today? Sardine? Dude, we'll get rid of our sardine. You've got to be kidding me. Willie, I need to sell you some stuff. Mumble, mumble. Eh, I would tell you about my thoughts, but it's a fisherman's secret. Yeah, why would you tell me about your thoughts anyways? Elliot, I'm coming in. Oh, can I just climb through the window though? I mean, there's not actually glass there from what I can see, so just like rip out the boards. Willie, just go and go, go into your shop, please. Thanks. What? Now it's open! Come on, Willie, come on. Oh, I almost just bought trout soup. Yeah, no. We're gonna save one eel. That's it. Oh, we could buy a new rod. No thanks, we don't want the fiberglass rod yet. All right guys, time to go back to what I was doing. What was I doing? Oh, no, what am I doing? I'm looking for a sardine. Or seaweed. I'll eat that later when I'm getting low on energy. As you do with seaweed. Oh. What? Is this supposed to be happening? Am I breaking the game? Sardine. Okay, we out. Actually, I'm gonna go back and throw my Halley boots at this guy's face first. Give me money for my fish. Yay, we have over 2,000 bucks now. Elliot! Hi! I think so. I'm gonna eat the seaweed now. Reading a book, I see. Very lucky to have a library in such a small town of illiterate people. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of life. Huh. Maybe that's why I like books so much. Sorry, I got carried away there. Yeah, you stupid. Go back to reading your book. So how was your first night in the old cottage? It's been a while since then. Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down, he actually loved that house. Okay. <gasps> They've got spirits in there. How cool is that? They've got ghosts. Do you think my grandpa's in there? Hey, Demetrius, how are you doing? How's the farming business? It's parsnip season. Yeah, I have one really stupid parsnip that's kind of short. Where is Maru at? Is she down in the town? Or is she at the clinic? Probably at the clinic, actually. I don't know what days she's there. And my wife is down right now, so I can't check. But maybe she's there on Thursdays. Or maybe it's random. Who knows? Caroline. Say hi to me. I wonder if I can get Pierre to cook dinner tonight. Probably not. He's going to be too busy selling stuff. Or probably not, because no one ever goes to his shop. Oh, it's Maru. Is it an emergency? Yes, yes, yes. I have a fish for you. Power your latest in... Hmm. Also, I love how in the background, like up here, Abigail's getting her checkup. It looks like Harvey's threatening to shoot her in the forehead. I'm gonna go check on them. Is she okay? How much longer do you need, Doc? I'm hungry. All right. <laughs> you know what? I wanna buy some more seeds. Give me your finest seeds. I'll take some cauliflower. Great, now I have 15 cauliflowers. Oh, I'll take my 120 gold. Thanks. Whoa! That was a bunny. Demetrius, did you see that bunny? Look, it's this dude. And some rocks. 
He does four hits, then he lays there with his arm out backwards. Soon we'll be able to go there. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow. Linus! I don't want anything from you. Except for all of your money. Hand it over. Oh wait, that's right, you're broke. Ah, another artifact spot. Oh, it's clay. My favorite. Maru! Plan on spending a lot of time with your telescope. And your sardine. Doing... Whatever weird invention you made with a sardine. Alex! It's time to warm up. I'm feeling pumped. Yeah, no. Look, it's Goku. The clouds look great at this time of year. Like scoops of vanilla ice cream. Or maybe you're just hungry. Yeah, no. Bush, 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 bush. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. The music just cut off. Am I about to die? Aw, oh, man. Another daffodil. Is there anything other I can have? Any other thing? No. Oh, man. Wait, isn't there a leak here? Yes, there is. Give me those. We're gonna need to make another field. I got that done somehow, so now let's put seeds in. Water. Let's go to bed. And then we have a cool thing to do tomorrow. Oh, I didn't realize that was today. Marty has a dog for me. I do see this dog here. Hello. I haven't thought about what I want to name this boy yet. Found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor thing. See, it's like this place. Don't you think this farm could use a good dog? Yes! Yogi, that's that's knocking. That's not the one. I'll be right back once I've decided what I want to name this. I just realized exactly what I, what I need to name this. So now we have the best dog on the best farm. Alright! Oh, parsnips, except for that one. A lot goes down on the fifth. Wow. Mail! New fishing item stock. A deluxe fishing pole. Dude, I saw that yesterday. Okay, so now the mines are open. And it was Joja Core's fault that it was closed in the first place. Stupid Joja, Jojo, Joja. But the first cool thing I want to do involves uh, the little area up north of here. Another cool thing I want to do is have Pierre open up shop already. What are you doing, idiot? Whoa, the football's dot or grid ball. Hey, what's up, farmer guy? Oh, I almost forgot. It's my day for doing push-ups. Every time we do push-ups, I try to do one more than the last time. I mean, yeah, that works. Shane, what are you doing here? Yeah, only cool kids get to go to Pierre's. All right, Pierre, buy my stuff. All right, bye, Pierre. Oh, another daffodil, man, no way. All right, we're gonna go check out the mines until 11 o'clock. Then we have to come back and do the cool thing. Here's the mines. I don't know what that, I don't know what that is, but this is how you go into the mines. Here's a cutscene. Marlon! He says, hmm. Yeah, Marlon is the adventurer of the town, really. He's not considered a villager, though. He lives off to the right of this area. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. I can see that. It's been abandoned for decades. Not really, because the villagers go down there. <laughs> Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. A rusty sword. Name's Marlon, by the way. I run the Adventurers Guild. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Okay, so here's basically the gist of the mines. Come down here. Uh, you don't do that. You whack stuff. And you get stuff because you whack stuff. Then once you find a ladder like this, you can go down. How cool is that? Oh yeah, and there's bad guys. Bye. So yeah, we're just gonna explore the mines more at a different point in time. But now is not that point in time. Linus says, please don't destroy my tent. It's happened before. Are you sure that that wasn't just the storm? Plus, 
If someone destroyed your tent. Well, who would have did? Who would have done that in our town? Shane. So you might be wondering why I'm going back to the farm if the cutscene is north of here. It's because you have to enter the town from. Oh, Haley, I want to give you this really quick. That was a very last second thing. Yes, for you. And talk to me. Oh, she's ignoring me. Dang, not again. Okay. Oh, oh yes. There's a dandelion. Now let's grab this dandelion, and all we need is a wild horseradish to complete a thing, which I will not yet tell you because I have to get this cutscene before I can tell you. Here it is. The community center. Oh, hi there. Hi, Lewis. What an eyesore. I agree, we should blow it up. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyways. Dude, it's definitely still there, I don't know what you're talking about. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it, it's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV and engage in the community. It's funny because, like, George is the TV addict of the town. Not anyone young, but listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Because you are an old fool. George Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to the relics of the past. Ah, well. No, it's because it's Joja Corporation. No one likes them. If anyone else buys a Joja Corporation membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Yep, that's why I don't buy Joja Corp member memberships. Sigh. Here, let's go inside. Because this, they will turn the community center into a Georgia warehouse. It is, it does happen. I guess Vincent and Jasper have been playing in here. No, this place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Jumanumano! What? He's gone. What's the matter? Are you ill? Yeah. You saw something? Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. It's a very weird mutated rat. Look, I think I'm gonna head home. I need some lunch. Don't leave me here! They're gonna kill me! I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe if you can catch that rat if you have some extra time. Uh huh. That rat. Come back and explore. No, 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 no. We're going in right now. You see that down there? That right there is a community center bundle. And there's a little dude by it. We cannot do this yet, actually. I forgot about that. We have to go see the wizard first. We don't understand this language. The wizard will help us understand that, and he will also tell us what on earth those quote-unquote rats are. So, next episode, I guess. Whoa, Evelyn has walked behind the saloon. <gasps> Whoa, I didn't even know you could walk behind this. Well, I knew you could, but like, I thought the trees blocked it. George spends a whole day in front of that darn TV set. See? I wish you go outside more. Some fresh air would do him good. Alright. Oh yeah, we didn't go to the library and check out that brand new book. Done. How to win friends. Let's go in here now. Whoa! It's them! Mom's making lentil soup tonight. If you dig in the dirt, you can find some interesting things. One time, I found a really old piece of pottery. I brought it to Gunther, and he said it was over a thousand years old. And I decided to not donate it. I don't know you. Okay. See, now it thinks the book is there. Tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality, reduce workload, or hasten crop growth. So you can't see me right now, but I'm doing some eyebrow action, and I got some really cool hand gestures going on. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Keep the area directly around your new sapling clear, or it may not grow properly. Or just don't grow fruit trees. Crops will die as soon as the season ends, unless they grow in multiple seasons. Egg corn. Just kidding. I know it doesn't say egg. Some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with the scythe. And then there's this one. Where's the... Ah! This is a book by Marnie. <gasps> Marnie can read? And right? Oh. Animals are very sensitive. They like to be pet every day and prefer to eat grass outdoors than dry hay. 
they don't like to be they don't like being outside in the rain though happy animals produce higher quality products duh Caroline finally a little time to myself she's gonna say that over and over again okay but yeah when you find books in the dirt they will go over here and for some reason this book that was actually here that said it wasn't here last time is suddenly here Gunther what do you have to say I don't have anything to donate to the museum, so I must be useless, huh? Thanks, Gunther. Hey, Sam. Did I ever tell you we used to live in the city? No, and I did not need to know that. There's a lot more stuff going on, but it's also kind of noisy and hectic. It's hard to say which is better. I don't know why I'm doing my cursor like that. It's kind of weird. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end off this video here. I know I'm in the middle of a day, but I'm just going to do out the rest of the day, cleaning up around the farm a little bit some off-screen grinding and then I will come back next time and we will be on day six I'm gonna start doing more days per episode I gotta do that somehow we're never gonna get through a single season uh, anyways this is the camos signing out